That explosion came from the old CIT units. I mean, if you believe the stories of history. Could the Institute really have been destroyed? I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? The only thing I'm ready for is danger and awesome. Pew, pew, pew! I'm afraid hard-earned caps is all we've got to offer, honey. Anyway, the client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details, said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. So, is the fedora and trench coat mandatory when solving these cases? Because I'm thinking smoking pipe and British accent. Hey, whatever floats your boat, gumshoe. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. God, did you see that explosion?
Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. They could be raiders, or gunners, or God knows what else. What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. Sorry. I have this habit of running straight towards signs of trouble. Come to think of it, that explains a lot. A good Samaritan? Fine. I'm out of options anyway, if you want to hear about it. My daughter is missing. It all started with this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said... Something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Of course. How does 350 caps sound? If she went far, that means travel expenses. We could make it 400. Don't hold out on me. You want to find your daughter, right? 500 caps. That's all we have. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Rei. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again. But there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company and Kenji can be... overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. 
Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe your daughter is just confused. Having an identity crisis. Oh, God. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system. A final gift from my father. And it's built for distance. 
I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. Visitors. Mainlanders ain't nothing but trouble. Put the damn gun down. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around Mainlanders here. Mainlanders always think they know better. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a... A difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You! Help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall, near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hall, stranger. Don't fall off! If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Man the hall! Something's out there! You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! I've peeled everyone! The gate! Open the gate! I've got wounded out here! Mariner? There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Go first! Oh God! Defend yourselves! Ready all! Fire at will! I thought I saw something. We got trouble!
stop right there. Oh God! Defend yourselves! Ready all! Fire what? at will! Stop right there! He's on the phone. Something's coming. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. If you managed to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. 
Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge. Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Bait shop's got everything. Then you need. You ain't armed. You ain't long for this world. Buy my guns now. Hi. Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. What's your story? Just a guy trying to make a few caps. Speaking of which, buying anything? I'll take a pass. Come back if you change your mind. Excuse me. You another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. Wait. No. <laughs> it's a mainlander. Well, welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctoring, speak up. I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. Who's Andre? Poor Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fog. You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but we got our own special brand here. I know a few things about medicine. Can I try to help him? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. I suppose there's no harm letting you have a poke, but I'll be watching you. Let's take a look. Mm. Mm. Talk with Alan. I don't have time for you. Hey, Alan. Huh. <laughs> the mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. Hey, buddy. I was just trying to help. Charity makes you weak. Makes you need it more and more. Until you're starving from the lack of it. What happens next time when you ain't here, huh? Or the next? Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. What's your problem with the children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. Instead, we let them in. And all in secret from wherever they're holed up, they've been feeding the fog. They're getting it stronger. Strong enough to push us all out of our homesteads. Further and further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. You have any proof that they've fed the fog? Proof? We wait for that and we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Look, in my daddy's time, the fog was a nuisance. Something you avoided. Now every day it gets stronger. It's like the fire's a hell out there. Because of the children. I'll pass. Then leave. Fresh shipment in. All your medical and food needs. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. 
You think the island is alive? <laughs> You're completely crazy. Oh, you think that now. But by the time you've heard my tale, you might not be so sure. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame that. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Take it one day at a time. Protect your loved ones with my fine hand. The whole took of that one. Be sure. Mariner. The whole took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner, shipwright, handyman, and the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. <laughs> but there is... I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools, specialized tools, and they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. <sighs> I'm a bit short on caps. But I have old Jimmy's shotgun I can give you. Heavens no, he can't use it anymore. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Conversation here. Shut your mouths, open your damned ears. So the fogs are coming for us all, and I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the house. Yeah! Woo! Time to party! Here's some Mitch! Mitch! Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya! <laughs> you have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. 
Joel, drink up. You stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? What's so special about the fog on the island? Can you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's alive. You walk inland and it'll blanket you up in no time. And if the clickety-click of the Geiger don't get you, the madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. The fog can drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. But many just got lost in the fog for too long. And the mine goes. If you have any sense, return where you came from and don't look back. If it's so dangerous, why do you stay? This is our home. If you call yourself a proper man or woman, you don't give up on that. Besides, we all gotta die. Might as well do it with your long knife deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. Ha! Not interested. Pity. 